Uh, I think our discipline is already something that uh, we'll need to look at uh, to get a red card uh, so early two minutes in the game. Uh, obviously, you won't, won't win World Cups like that. And then another, yellow, another two yellow cards. Yeah, so yeah, everything to upset that. Have you spoken about the discipline though? Do you feel a lot of it's just down to over eagerness? I mean, uh, you know, poor Andre Stanton doesn't play much, and, and obviously, you know, you could see his bursting with the gentleman. And I mean, even Kieran Horn, I guess, currently, uh, do you put it mostly down to over eagerness? No, I definitely think it's, it's accidents. You know, it's not something on purpose. Uh, we really train level change and. Uh, Minding players in the air a hell of a lot, and yeah, you can't really tell the player that was on purpose, it was an accident. Uh, Rassi, can we look at the uh, sentimental side of things? A bit of a homecoming year for you. Uh, just your, your thoughts on, on having come back to this particular venue and this city. And just some of the debutants who scored tries as well today, how, how special uh, that is for them. Yeah, I actually find myself I struggling to talk in the change room because uh, this was where everything began for me. Uh, this is where uh, from after school in the military, then varsity, and everything happened for me here. Uh, so, um, yeah, it's a bit. When I came in here and I saw all the people, uh, you remember all the faces, and it's the same vibe still outside, you know, kind of gets a little bit emotional. Uh, yeah, but I can just say thank you for Bloemfontein, uh, everybody in Bloemfontein, the army, the varsity, uh, for me personally, from my side, and then from our Springbok team side, uh, what awesome support. Uh, I mean, uh, the match at one stage definitely wasn't this beautiful match and looked like we're gonna punish them with 50 points, but the crowd never got uh, on the booing side of things or negative. Uh, it's a, a real positive crowd to play in front of, and I think that that helps the players. Um, and then the debutants, yeah, um, it's great. Uh, uh, how many was there? Seven. Seven, and uh, I think four scored tries. So that's nice. Um, it makes it interesting now to pick a squad. What did they make of the the to how they play? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so now they look. Uh, we I promised the whole squad that everybody will get a cap today. Uh, you know that that was the plan, uh, and to have given everybody at least 20 minutes, um, I think was is great. And the way they rewarded us for giving them that chance is unbelievable. Um, yeah, I'm very proud of both of them. about Portugal, um, it must have been, uh, you know, going on to the big stage for them, obviously lots of nerves, um, just, you know, just say a few words about them. No, they're a tier two nation. Uh, I can tell you this team that we picked today will give the team that played last week against Ireland a go. Uh, I'm, I'm saying it honestly, uh, um, I don't care if people go into the AB side, uh, Debate, or I'm telling you that there's, there's no difference between he actually also played, was it? You did play last week. Uh, so, for a team like Portugal to come here at altitude, people forget that. Uh, just the, the hanging in there. I spoke, spoke to the coach afterwards, you know. Uh, he's not down hot at the end, he's, he's excited. Uh, this is what they need. Uh, and, and we're happy to have that. Yeah, we can blood youngsters against them, uh, but still it's a, a tough match. Uh, we, we learned that we can play with 14 men. Uh, we had to make plans on the field. Uh, that's a nice experience. But overall, I think the scoreline wants to forget that. 
and look at the way uh, they really tried uh, and the effort they put out there, the Portuguese team. Uh, and at half time, we weren't comfortable. Uh, we still knew we had a lot of work to do. So, no, they must hang in there and we very happy to have them here. Um, guys, we do have very little time, so we're going to take about three or four more English questions, then we're going to Africa. So, Percy? Um, yeah, Percy, I think uh, oh, there's a squad of uh, 42 which currently we have in and out of our squad. Jasper must still come back. Uh, Damien Willems must still come back. Peter Seves is cleared now. Uh, Steven Kitschow is cleared now. Um, there was another player. Uh, Malcolm uh, looks like he can play the second Australia game. So we will have to juggle a few things. And we will give the injured player a little bit game time and when is the right opportunity. Uh, so yeah, so yes, lots of players are going to play for the, for the Springboks, but I'm not going to mention them. Um, and then on Tuesday, we'll, we'll name the squad. Um, yes, Percy, I think it's, um, it's, it's very special to represent the Springboks. And yeah, just to keep the answer short, to get a match ball is uh, exceptional. Um, I think there was, a lot of, there was a lot of players out there tonight that deserved that. So, yeah, that, that's probably why I'm a bit shocked, but uh, very grateful for it. Um, Hassi, why does goalkeeping was issued during the World Cup when became a conversation again during the URC, and despite the crowd cheering him again, it clearly became another issue here. Um, are you able to break down what seems to be the problem and how can it be fixed? <coughs> uh, are you talking about his kicking? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not a kicking coach and Tony's trying to help him and uh, yeah, obviously I think you go and chat to Nas Boerta, there was a spell when he's, he's game dipped uh, and he's going for a dip but his general play is still good. Uh, so it's, it's a tough one to handle uh, and then Sasha comes up and, and he slots everything and he passes well and he creates ties. Uh, I think there's some proper pressure on all the, the teams, Mani, Andre, Gaza um, and, and, and Sasha. Uh, of course, uh, there's some new, 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 new guys in the team that can do things. But no, I can't fix his gig. He, he can do. Um, Rossi, just just in terms of you've now had the, the, the four tests already. You're going to the rugby championship. You know what the challenges are in the rugby championship, and you guys are in between game plans. Are you transitioning to a new game plan? Was there a number of these guys who maybe pushed the, the more senior players in this and made you think a bit, and, and or is it still a thing that they've still got a bit of a journey to go? No, definitely some will be slowly integrated, definitely, uh, and some might only do a, might tour and play Australia, but then might not play against the All Blacks, and then Argentina at the end, so we've got a plan. Uh, would have been lovely if the island match was, all, was also a win. Uh, then the plan was working perfect so far. Um, yeah, we've got a plan and we will definitely slowly in the review. Uh, Salman, uh, can you just give us a sense of just how intense it was out there with the buzz of the crowd and the expectation and everything like that? And were you surprised at all at how competitive Portugal were? Absolutely. I think, um, I think Portugal showed in the World Cup what a quality side they, they are. And uh, tonight especially, I think they they took us wide, they took us coast to coast. Um, there were stages in the game when yeah, we, were, we were looking for our breath. Um, and they, they put us under a lot of pressure. Um, 